Light armored vehicle. It protects you against all small arms ammunition. That is talking about 7.62 mm or 12.7 mm ammunition. This vehicle serves as an armored fighting vehicle and it's designed to operate in rugged terrain. You understand? It can also serve as an armored personnel carrier because it can carry up to 10 personnel with their full combat kits at the time. The vehicle has a lot of special features. The springs are specially designed to be able to move very fast in combat in very rugged terrain. And it has that engine capability to overcome up to uh, five, uh, 50 meters of um, uh, gradient, you understand, at a time. So, with this vehicle now, which is currently in use with the Nigerian Army, we have received a lot of favorable reports about its ability to withstand extreme weather conditions in theater. And it has been most effective with our troops because the rate of success recorded in operation has been very encouraging. So, this is um, a kind of... Um, it has given a kind of boost to the performance of our troops in theater. And uh, we talk about the potential for export. Of course, we do not want to limit the use of this weapon, I mean, this vehicle to Nigeria alone. But you know, it is a restricted item because we are operating under license of the federal government of Nigeria. Before this vehicle can be sold to any other country, we have to get approval from the government of Nigeria. But we are looking at potentials, market potentials, at least within the West African sub-region, so that all our neighboring countries will also have the opportunity to introduce this armor fighting vehicle into their inventory. Like you have seen some, our, some of our officers from the French-speaking countries coming to take a look at the vehicles and we have been telling them about the capability and what the vehicle can do. So we hope that in the nearest future, this vehicle will also be on the inventory of our sister African countries, at least within the West African sub-region. The major advantage of having a locally manufactured defense product is that the maintenance of that product will not be a serious challenge to us as a country because the design and the production of the vehicle is ours it is indigenous so for those units that have already acquired these vehicles we are also standing by for after sales support so that in the event that they need any maintenance uh, support we are the ones that are going to support them in terms of spare parts, in terms of the skilled manpower required for the maintenance of the vehicle. So this is not going to be like those vehicles that were acquired from overseas, that it takes months for you to get the spares, and even maybe when the spares are available, the personnel on ground are not sufficiently knowledgeable to know what to do with the vehicle. All the engineers that produce the vehicles are with us, and all the parts necessary to support its operation in theatre are with us. So we just need a moment's notice and everything required to support the operation of the vehicle will be provided by the company. 
Of course, the light armor, there are different variants of this particular vehicle. Like I told you, this particular one can be used as an armored personnel carrier in the sense that it carries up to 10 troops with their full combat kit at a time. It can also be used as a fighting vehicle that is in combat fighting itself being the fighting machine. Now, there is the uh, my resistant variant, which we call the MRAM. That one is much bigger than this. You understand? Of course, depending on the demand, because we are here to satisfy the requirement of our uh, military forces and security agencies. So if there is a demand for an ambulance, it's just a matter of configuration. If they want it in ambulance form, of course, it will be configured to meet that specific purpose. It's just a matter of removing the seats and maybe putting beds and making provision for medical personnel now that are going to offer support. So they are, that is why, you know, we talked about engagement. There is this type of forum that we have today is to provide engagement between the defense company, the private sector, and the military and security agencies. So that once we understand what they need, it is our responsibility now to work out the technical requirements that will enable us to meet that demand. So whatever they want, once we get that brief from them, we will work towards it and make sure that we provide the product to satisfy their needs. This vehicle guarantees maximum, for, maximum comfort for the occupants. It is fully air conditioned, so and it can sit up to 10 troops at a given time. There is a firefighting uh, equipment on board. May God forbid in the event of fire, it has the provision to adequately combat that fire. There are, the seats are very comfortable as you can see. And um, uh, when you look behind there, you also see some other accessories. You understand? All, everything here is enamored, including the glass. So there is no type of ammunition fire from a small arm that can penetrate this particular vehicle. So anybody that is seated in this vehicle is fully protected against all small arms ammunition. Thank you. 